So you need an app to run as admin on startup, but Windows doesn't natively allow that without use of task scheduler. So how do you do that? Let's find out. So first up, you would need an app that you want to open. So for me, for example, it would be Discord. I want to run it as admin. So first of all, I'm gonna right click and open file location, right click and properties, and then go to compatibility and check this box, run as admin. For me, the reason was pretty specific, but for you it might be different. Doesn't matter why, if you want to run something as admin, just follow the guide. Press apply, and then okay. Then you need to create a notepad file. Now, if, um, normally you would just try to click on the desktop and select new, and then text document. And just name it auto start admin or something you want. Really doesn't matter. Open it. Once it's open, well, it should be blank. Um, now the format is as follows. So you need to get it in this format. So I'll put this in the description. You can copy and paste it and change um, the path or the files. So this is how it should be. So WSH shell dot run, triple quotes, and then the path and then triple quotes end, um, and then something like that. So what this does is removes the command prompt window from popping up when you're starting these programs. So to get the file location to put in the notepad file, what you need to do is find where the exe is located. So you go open file location. That's where the exe is located. So now you just copy this path here, including the file you want to launch and with the parameters. So for example, Discord is launching with this parameters, update.exe dash dash process start Discord. It might not be as complicated for you as it is for Discord. Like for example, voice meter, Yeah, for voice meter, it's a simple voice meter exe. So your properties, you run it as admin, and then it's just a simple execution. So you just copy this path and then go voice meter pro.exe, and that launches it normally with admin privileges. So you, it will be seamless. So for me, I've set up voice meter, which is a mixing software the macro buttons as well as discord all running as admin on my startup and then all you need to do is when you save the file you click save as and then click all files here and then go your my file dot vbs press enter you can see the file just came up here and if i open it it should just launch the app, so I'm not gonna do that. So what you need to do with this file now is create a shortcut, or you can just put the file directly and type in app data, windows and startup. That's where it needs to be. So right, right now I've got a few programs that are launching normally, not as admin, but if you needed something to launch as admin, you would put that in the script and paste it here. So let's just paste it like that. Now when I restart my computer, it will restart everything as expected. So you can start any app you want. I have three there, which is voice meter, voice meter macro and discord. But uh, it can be unlimited, to be honest. You can have 10 applications launch in a single script, no problem. As long as your PC can handle it. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell icon and turn on the notifications. Like it if you liked it and share it with your friends if you found it useful. Check out my other videos up on the screen. I'll see you guys in the next one.